I mean, there's one story that explains everything, and it's called evolution. And it's a really rock-solid story, okay? It's a description of our reality. The evidence is overwhelming. It's where we came from, all right? It started with uh, chemicals. They combined. They became reproductive by circumstance. We have been created by that process. We can see, essentially, our flying and swimming and crawling ancestors on this planet. That's the reality. We're a machine designed by a process that goes into an environment. And the goal is this replication of a molecule. The goal established by the ignorant and stupid process. And that's all we're doing. And we can argue this to death and finally say, look, this is the truth. And guess what? Evolution is one of them. So if you're going to make up a story to augment evolution, or to say that there's some aspect of us that's magical, well, you're going to have to make it consistent with that story. And if the dilemma of existence is, is you have this system that created us that basically has no problem killing a thousand of you to make one of you, tosses them all over the place, litters the world with their suffering and their corpses. Yeah, we should be awestruck at four billion years. We should be contemplating the idea of these organisms eating each other. All the wrong ways things could have gone. I mean, the world still could be dominated by dinosaurs. It wasn't for a stupid meteor impact or a comet. We wouldn't be here. Then we know where 99.999% of life has been for the whole history of life on Earth. And it hasn't been contemplating the universe, hasn't been doing any of that crap. Tiny, tiny fraction. Uh, one grain of sand in a whole beach of time has been spent by human beings in the history of life uh, doing this high-minded conversation about how joyous and wonderful life is. You know, life is a reproducing, a replicating uh, a, a piece of DNA. A piece of DNA four billion years ago through some mechanism uh, was rendered capable and that has just continued and continued and continued in all these manifestations for no rhyme or reason, to, to satisfy no purpose, to accomplish no destiny, to do none of that. It's just an accident of biology, of chemistry, to create what we call biology. Sentience, feelings are what this is all really about, that my feelings aren't better than any other sentient organism's feelings. A feeling is a feeling is a feeling is a feeling. Whatever brain it's happening into, it's not a good thing to be happening in that brain. The enemy is the suffering, okay? It doesn't matter what brain it is in, and it doesn't matter how far away the brain is. It's all about these ideas anyway. It's about what you fill your brain with whether you're filling it with nonsense and rubbish and, and wishful thinking and daydreams about the wonderful DNA ride or a recognition that it's not a ride. It's um, a dumb molecule doing biological experiments. And, and the rest of these interrelationships between organisms are all basically parasitically motivated. Um, it's all about what I get, okay? It's all about a seduction. It's all about a taking, so get real. It's all exploitation, uh, generally speaking. That these little maggots are something other than a mouth and an anus and uh, sex organs. And they're, they're playing some other game than I want, I want, I want, I want. And I want for no good reason, just because a DNA molecule says so. Because all my brain sees out there, okay, is, yeah, it's cosmetically pretty. But all you do is scrape it just a little tiny bit. You scratch it just a little tiny bit. And you can see it is the biggest bar of fool's gold on fucking earth. All right, we have been sold a piece of goddamn shit. And that's all there is. It's a piece of fucking shit. If you take the uh, broad picture of history, it's, it's pretty dismal, okay, because we really haven't demonstrated much capacity to escape this, this idea that we're going to solve problems with violence. And that's going to be a real problem, because this technology gets better and better, and we have drones, and we have robots, and we have all this other crap. Um, you know, war is going to get insidiously um, messy. Uh, conflict is going to get insidiously messy. So, I mean, you've, you've got all kinds of weapons that are going to be out there in the hands of people full of hate. And we haven't demonstrated any capacity to do anything to fix this hate problem. The function is survival, 
um, by any mechanism, any means possible. Um, whatever can happen, can happen. Uh, no umpires, no rules, just a blood sport uh, and uh, for nothing. No, nothing in the end. Just a raised hand, I win, you die, and it's a crude and stupid game. 